Hey guys, it's Jackie. I wanted to show you some of this process of me uh, chunking up my Bath and Body Works three wick candles. Here is my beloved gooey marshmallow. Here it is, a three wick. So I got these bags on um, Amazon and I didn't realize it when I ordered this, but there are different sizes in here. I think it was a hundred pieces. Um, if I'm not mistaken, and I think it was $20 for all of these. Um, so there are littler bags. The one I really wanted are these with the windows. You can see there's like a plastic thing. And then it opens here um, so that you can put the um, chunked wax in there. And then I'll show you. I had gotten that ice cream shop. Um, in my SAS haul and I chunked the candle up. I took all the glass off very carefully with gloves on and I just wrote, you know, June of 19 and then ice cream shop and that's the wax chunked up. So with my beloved gooey marshmallow, this has been in my deep freeze for a little over a week. I have three more candles in there that are not quite ready, but I wanted to show you, I had watched somebody here on YouTube and it comes out super, super clean. Um, you can see the glass is completely cleaned. Nothing wrong with it. So I'm just going to leave this out at room temperature. And then this, you know, some people put them on paper towels. I'm just going to set it on this paper plate. And now that it's um, constricted, it will expand with room temperature. And then I'll chunk it up. Some of the labels, I guess, will come off pretty easily, um, but this is a wraparound label. And the one lady I watched on YouTube, she then put the sticker on the front here of this bag so that she knew. Um, and this one, you know, that was a broken candle, so I just wrote it in my handwriting. But I wanted to show you this process. Um, this is frozen. I literally just got it out of my freezer. So once it thaws... The next video will be me taking the uh, wicks out of the bottom and then I'll chunk it up. So that's going to sit here on my counter. Um, I just wanted to show you, I literally put four three wicks in the freezer um, and this one was the first one ready. And then I got those bags on Amazon. So once I get this thawed and get it ready um, to package like ice cream shop, I will show you guys. Talk to you hey soon. guys, it's Jackie. I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I've been chunking up my three wicks with Bath and Body Works. This one is my butterscotch toffee, which you guys know is one of my beloveds. So don't mind my handwriting. I have horrible handwriting. I wrote butterscotch toffee on here in June of 19, just so I know um, when I did this and have an idea of, you know, what's my oldest wax versus newer wax. Um, so I know it's a pretty informal video. I apologize. So I showed you the first one after I had gotten it out of the freezer. And now this one, I'm going to show you how I chunk it. Kids, do not try this at home. I don't recommend it. I literally have just been taking a regular knife, um, and just literally chunking the candle, um, into the bag. And you can see it chunks pretty easily and it comes in pieces so the wax is very soft once you let it sit out for over 24 hours and it's really really easy to just chunk it um i'm just really careful when i do this um you might make a little bit of a mess but you know it cleans up pretty nicely and so i am just chunking it away into this bag you can see it's got like that um plastic piece on the front so that we can um you know see how much is in there don't mind jake he's acting like a hooligan in the background i put him outside he barks i bring him in he barks um so this is all i've been doing a couple of my candles are not ready you know to cut up yet or actually to even come out of the glass um, I make a little bit of a mess, but like you can see in that first video, um, or the first portion of this video, because I want to put the videos together, it'll be several days apart when I'm putting these up, just because it's a process. Um, 
my candles, only two have been ready. And my candles have been in the freezer. I want to say we're going on our third week. And so a few of them are not ready at all. So I don't know if it's the... Um, the glass or the pour on the candle because my gooey marshmallow was ready in less than two weeks. I literally got that one, froze it, and it came right out of the container. So this is all I do. I don't know if this is what other people do. I have watched a few chunking videos, but I literally cut them into pieces, you know, that I'm going to use. Some of them come out like that where it's really tiny, but, you know, depending on how much of a scent you want in your warmer, um... You know, you can take this and leave it in a bigger piece or you can just keep chunking it down. That way you can control, you know, how much wax you put in your warmer. You're going to make a little bit of a mess on your hands. No big deal. You can wash them. Your knife will wash. I literally just wash it by hand. See, I fling wax everywhere. I just used a regular Sharpie um, to write the name of the wax on the front. Now, Joe has really nice handwriting. Maybe I should have just had him. Look at that. It just, like, falls off. So some of it's, like, really easy to chunk. Oh, and I should have showed you me taking out the wicks. That was super simple. No rhyme or reason. I'm literally just, like, chunking it away. So there you have it. There is my wax chunking. Um, once I... What I'll do is I will film one more video of me taking the wax out of the freezer and after it sits for 24 hours and then I'll show you guys how I take out the wicks. I forgot to film that part so I apologize for this video but that's all I do so that's the second portion of that and we'll circle back around to show you the wicks. I hope you guys are doing so good. So this video is going to be all over the place but I wanted to give you an update my butterscotch toffee, which is in this packaging, took three weeks for it to freeze um, and come away from the glass. So this one took three weeks. But what's super, super crazy is my blueberry pie, which I literally just put in the freezer a week ago, only took a week. So I have a half fudge sundae still um, in the freezer and a banana bunk cake. Those are both from the Sweet Shop 2.0. Um, so both of these waxes literally just came out of the freezer. And so they're going to be on my counter overnight. Um, and then I'll chunk them and I'll show you how I get the wax or the wicks out of the wax. Um, but I just wanted to tell you that I don't know... Because in my, um, the Sweet Shop 2.0, it's different glass. Um, it feels a little thicker, so I don't know if that has something to do with it or if it's the packaging. I don't know. Three weeks, less than a week. So there's a small update. Um, the next part of this video will be me showing you taking how I take the wicks out. I hope you guys are doing good. Hey guys, it's Jackie. Here's the final video for the chunking of my Bath and Body Work candles. So... Um, in the part before the video, I showed you this container. This is my blueberry pie. It is extremely clean. This one didn't take very long um, to freeze. And then my butterscotch toffee came away super, super clean. So I wanted to show you guys how I take the wicks out of the bottom. And, you know, just so you know, you know, it's a very sharp knife. But what I do is I literally go right underneath, kind of just pry the, and look at how that's, it's coming apart so it's going to be hard to see, um, and then just pry the wick right out of there. Um, and just so you know, when you freeze and thaw out the candle, now it's getting, there you go. You can see that just, that big chunk just fell off. And um, because of the, you know, freezing and thawing, the wax cracks, which is fine. So literally just be very, very careful. Pull the wick out. I just get in there with the knife. And as you can see, this candle is going to be really, really easy to chunk. And this one is the blueberry pie. So here are the wicks. I don't do anything with them. I just throw them away. I don't save them. Cause I don't really have a need for them. 
Um, and then like I showed you in the previous portion of this video, I literally just chunk, you know, the wax into the bags. So I wanted to show you guys um, how I take the wicks out. I had forgotten to show you in the other video. And again, these are those bags I got on Amazon. I just wrote blueberry pie, June of 19. Um, so I'll just finish chunking uh, both these candles, take the wicks out of the bottom of here, and then um, store them in these bags. Um, and then the final update for the two candles that are still in my freezer, Hot Fudge Sunday and Banana Bunk Cake, um, still have not pulled away from the jar. And that's going on week four. Um, I've done this video in uh, almost a three and a half week session. So that's my update on how I chunk the Bath and Body Work candles. If you guys have any questions or you want to see something else in this video, just comment down below. I hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!